Hello everyone. Today we shall uh, look into the uh, date functions which are helpful to identify whether uh, the date lies in current period, previous period or, or, period or uh, next uh, period. Here are the, there are a few sample dates where uh, I could show you whether uh, to identify the dates in the current period or not. I'll go to add column, click on custom column. Okay, I'll uh, start with the current day, whether it is in current day or not. Okay, I'll uh, write that is in current day. I'll write the function date. As you type date here, you could see that date dot is in current day. I'll select that. Open the parenthesis. Uh, choose my date column and insert it. I'll close the parenthesis. I'll uh, click OK. Here you could see that uh, 7th April is my current day. So it shows true value for the current day and rest of the values would be false. Uh, please try to uh, remember that these functions would return the val output in Boolean values whether it is true or false. Okay, for this function it is uh, the 7th April is my current day so it returned true. I will quickly go to add column, click on custom column again. Here I will check whether it whether the date belongs to current week or not is in current week okay uh, i'll type that function date you could see that uh, here there is a function called is in current week i'll click on that i'll open the parenthesis choose my date column insert and close the parenthesis is in current week function it uh, shows whether my date is present in current week or not here you could see that 5th april and 7th april is in the current week so the true value is returned. Uh, we shall uh, go to the add column and uh, click on custom column. Okay, and uh, we shall find whether the current dates are in current uh, month or not. I'll uh, type current month. Okay, in the custom formula, I'll write date whether it is in current month or not. Is in current month is the function date dot is in current month. I'll insert the date time column. I'll close the parenthesis, click OK. Uh, date dot is in current month. Here you could see that there are two last two rows which are uh, different from the current month dates. Okay, they are represented false. Rest of the dates lies in uh, April month of 2023, so they are true. Here uh, by using is in current month, you could find out the result. I'll again click on custom column and uh, check whether the date is in current quarter or not. I'll uh, choose this function date dot is in current quarter. Open the parenthesis. Choose my date column and insert. Okay. As I click on it, here you could see that. Uh, okay. I'll change the name over here. Okay. Current quarter. Here you could see that my last. Uh, you know this this April month uh, data. It is in current quarter. The rest of the last two rows are not that do not belong to the current quarter, so it is given as false. Uh, finally, with this with respect to the current period, I'll check whether it is in current year or not. Okay, I'll uh, type current year here as uh, similar to the current functions. Here I have that whether it is in current year or not. Date dot is in current year function helps us to identify whether the date is in current year or not. I'll insert the date column, close the parenthesis and click OK. Here you could see that uh, only one of my date, the last before date, it, the year, uh, it is in 2024. So it is represented as false in the output. Rest of the rows are true here. So these are few examples of sal uh, like current uh, dates. Okay, uh, I hope you are able to understand uh, these functions is in current day, is in uh, current week, is in current month, quarter and year. Similarly, let us uh, see few examples for the previous and next periods. I will quickly go to the previous sample dates. Okay, here I have uh, uh, few sample dates to show you as an example. I will quickly go to add column, create custom column. Here we are checking the previous dates. So I will type previous day. Okay. Here I have uh, the date dot is in uh, previous day function, date dot is in previous day function. Okay, you could uh, open the parenthesis after the function, you could insert the date 
and uh, close the parenthesis and click OK. Here you could see that in the second line, the previous day is provided, which is 6th April. Uh, rest of the values are false because they are not they, they do not belong to the previous day. Okay, and similarly you could click on custom column. We could check whether it is in the previous week. Okay, I'll type previous week. Okay, here in order to type uh, previous, I am typing just is in previous. You could get this output and I'll try to find out the function and just click on it. Date dot is in previous week. I'll open the parenthesis, insert the date column and close the parenthesis and uh, hit enter. Okay, I'll click OK. Uh, once you click on that, here you could see that only my first April, it is the previous week, like date. Apart from that, rest of the dates are false condition where, where it does not satisfy the previous week uh, function. Similarly, I'll click on custom column. We shall find the dates, uh, whether they are present in uh, previous month. Okay, I'll uh, type date dot is in previous month as you type this uh, you could uh, see that uh, i'll insert the date column and uh, click ok uh, here you could see that in the fifth row i have this march third uh, day sorry march 15th date of 2023 so this is my previous month where i have got the true condition rest of the values are in false condition again i'll click on custom column check uh, whether the days are in previous quarter or not so from april we have the current quarter so i'll type is in previous uh, quarter over here date dot is in previous quarter i'll again uh, click on the date time i'll insert the date column close the parenthesis and click ok here you could see that uh, one of the my value which is march 15th it, it belongs to the previous quarter rest of the dates belong to the current quarter i'll again go to the custom column this is the last function of the previous period from dates currently so we'll we'll see previous year and uh, i'll type similarly is in previous as i type is in previous here you could see that date dot is in previous year i'll click on that open the parenthesis and insert the date column I'll close the parenthesis and click OK. Here you could see that my last two rows uh, like belong to 2022 which is the previous year. So it, it has given me the true output for it. Apart from that the rest of the rows are false. So here we have understood about uh, how to check the previous day, week, month, quarter and uh, year dates. Again, we'll, we shall click quickly go to the next uh, sample dates where to where we could identify the dates of uh, next period. I'll uh, go to add column, create a custom column. Okay, I'll uh, show you whether the dates belongs to next day or not. Today it is 7th April. I'll uh, see whether it is in, is in next. As I type in is in next, as you click on this uh, date dot is in next day open the parenthesis and click on date time and insert it close the parenthesis and click ok date dot is in next day here you could see that there is only one date which is 8th april where it is true in true condition rest of the rows are false because the date satisfies the next day condition i'll again click on the custom column check the dates for next week okay in the function i'll type is in uh, next week okay here i have this is in uh, next week function i'll open the parenthesis take my date column and close the parenthesis and click ok here you could see that there are uh, there is only one uh, you know row which is present uh, in the next week which is 15th april so i am getting the true condition for it i'll again click the click on the custom column Okay, I'll check for the next uh, quarter or next month. Okay, I'll, I'll check for next month. Is in next month function here. You could see I click on I'll click on it. Add my date function. Okay, insert my date function. Close the parenthesis and click OK. So this is in next month. Here you could see that I have a next month date of uh, May 21 in the seventh row. 
okay it is giving me true condition for it rest of the rows are false i'll uh, let us quickly check for quarter and year here we have uh, next quarter okay here we have uh, is in uh, next quarter this function date dot is in next quarter i'll open the parenthesis date dot next quarter it helps us date dot is in next quarter uh, function helps us to identify the dates which are in the next quarter this last row yeah, as you could see the date is july 27th uh, so we have got this true condition because it is present in next quarter rest of the dates are false uh, this is the function where we could identify the dates whether they are present in uh, next year or not so i'll quickly write is in next as you type this you could see that uh, here you have this is in next year function i'll open the parenthesis take this date column and close the parenthesis and click ok so here you could see that uh, last before column i have true condition let us scroll to the left and see that the year is 2024 here in the eighth row so through these functions current previous and next uh, whether it is day week month quarter or year it is uh, very e like easy and uh, handy to identify uh, the dates whether uh, they are located in the previous or current or next period please do explore Thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video.